Now we'll talk about some of the other popular scaling and perio tips. We'll talk about the first of the two, which is the perio precision tips. The first one is the P2L. This is a relatively new tip, and I really love it. I, if you look at the tip of it, you can see that it's probably more geared for posterior. And instinctively, I would think the same thing. But I found that when there's calculus between the lower anterior teeth, just so, so small in there, where you couldn't even fit your scaler, you can neatly put this tip right in there and clean out that calculus that even an instrument or any other ultrasonic couldn't get. So I really love that about this tip. And again, when you look at it, the anatomy would say, well, it's really for posterior. And it is, except for I find that it works really well with calculus that's in between tight interproximal areas for the lower anterior teeth. Transitioning to the back, you can see how we can use this tip on the buckle and then roll right into the mesial. This tip will remove grainy calculus. It's very great for periodontal maintenance patients and even healthy patients. Next, we're going to talk about the P2R tip. And like the P2L, it's used in the green mode or the low power. It kind of makes sense when you're looking at your tips to see how this would be in the low power because it's so tiny and so fragile. But see how it just wraps around the distal there? Taking out again grainy calculus, um, biofilm. Notice the drop by drop irrigation. You're not drowning your patient. Notice how quiet it is how slow and systematic. This concludes the set of the P2R and the P2L. Now I'd like to talk about the 1S tip. The 1S tip is similar to the number one tip, only it's a slimmer version of it. And I like this because, as you can see, it's gonna take off the big pieces of calculus quite efficiently too. Just remember that windshield wiper kind of sweeping action going to be in the blue power setting or the high power setting so you can really tackle the big pieces of calculus but it's slim enough that once you get to the apex and go subgingival you can go deep into a pocket let's say you know four I'd say four maybe not even more than five millimeters down but you can bring this tip down subgingively again you see the sweeping motions methodical crisscross just roll at the mesial line angle so you can go in a proximal, starting again at the coronal portion and working your way down. Just like instruments, it's easy to miss a line angle, so you might want to spend a little bit more time when you're at the line angle. Now we'd like to talk about the 10X tip. The 10X tip is used in the blue mode or the high power. It's a universal tip. The shape of it reminds me of a pie server. So you really do have a lot of power with this tip. You are using it in the blue mode. So you can take out a lot of calculus. It's very good for interproximal. Just the way that that tip is can go very nicely into interproximal areas. It is a universal tip, so you can do both posterior and anterior teeth. In addition to enoproximals, if you remember to use the lateral sides, you can just pivot and again just work down and get your calculus right off. You can go slightly subgingival, again using some sweeping motions. Remember to Get right up to the distal line angle, the mesial line angle, and then you can just roll and pivot when you go want to go interproximal. Another use for the 10X tip is you can do tongue disinfection. That's right, tongue disinfection. You start at the tip of the tongue, and again, you don't want to use the point. You want to use the lateral sides. 
and you just do sweeping motions back. I know you're probably thinking, well, is my patient going to gag? And believe it or not, they don't. We all know the gag reflex is on the top. So you really don't go near the gag reflex at all. Now what's nice about this is we are supposed to be teaching the patients how to brush their tongue and uh, doing their tongue scraping and things like that. It's a really added value when you can add this to even your regular patients as well as your non-surgical periodontal therapy cases. But when you get this far back on the tongue, and believe it or not, you can go this far back, especially with this um, Satellex unit, you have so much uh, less water to deal with that the patient is not gagging at all. You don't have to worry about the water splattering up to the gag reflex. But when you get towards the back, you're actually removing the volatile sulfur compounds. And that's what's causing bad breath. So patients are really, really appreciative of this. Now I'm taking more time in this demonstration because I'm explaining everything, but by now I'd be done the tongue. And I just want to show you in the middle of the tongue, sometimes there's fissures and they're filled with plaque. You can kind of bevel your 10x tip in here and just clean out the fissures and you would see all the biofilm blasting out of there, especially if you wear magnification loops. So that's a very unique use for the 10x tip.